you're late. No, I'm not. You said nine o'clock. All right. It's quarter past ten. Casmilla. How's his neck? Needed stitches. He's lucky I left his head on. Kaz wanted to come on his own, wanted to sort you out. So where is he? I'm here instead. Are you gonna sort me out? Your area of expertise, uh huh, does it extend to the former Soviet Union? It doesn't do. This particular item of interest is the most famous of its kind in the world. Friends of mine up in Yorkshire need three of them fixed. You're talking precision engineering. I'm talking that, and I'm talking two or three hundred very loud bangs. Any of that a problem? It's not a problem for me. It's not a problem for them if they can afford me. Are they trustworthy and reliable? The friends of the hardware. The friends, Dave. I'll see to the hardware. They'll call you in the morning. That's got to be straight. That, I, that, I know it's got to be straight. It's almost there. Oh, Jesus, calm down, Murphy. It's right on the edge. Look, I know it's tricky, but you're getting there. So how many have you butchered now? Four. That's just the fourth. And how many have we left? Precision boring. Maybe you should be teaching me, Paul. What do you think, Trey? I'll fire around down this one, see if it blows up the same as the last three. What's Reese saying? We have full authority to follow up. And if we don't, your man's going to go to someone else. Yeah, of course you will. You give me a hand with this stuff. You better go. do this. So who's our local man in the middle of Yorkshire? She is DCI Hammond. NCS out of Bradford. She's setting me up an ops room. Sounds like a good bloke. Reese has briefed her. As long as she's a good bloke. Oi, Murphy! How'd it go, Terry? It nearly took me bloody head off. Shit! Three Kalashnikovs the cubs in serious firepower time. There's no way we can let these guns out on the street. A glint is a pallard with a favoured weapon of terrorists. It's a nightmare. God knows what they're planning to hit or who. Who do you think they are? I mean, hasn't Khaled let anything slip? Not as cagey as ever. I'm guessing they've got connections with Northern Ireland and they've got the decommissioned weapons via Liverpool, but could be talking shit. What about ammunition? They want it. <laughs> But they're not going to get it. The minute I find out what they're up to, what their connection is to Callard, pick them up. First chance you get, call me. Names, descriptions, anything I can use. Oh, you never know. They might have previous, it'll shed some light. They're going to make contact later. Right, Yorkshire. I'm knackered already. Take care. See you up there. Detective Superintendent pulled rank and went over my head and I've made my misgivings a matter of record. I don't know, DS Murphy, and I'm being asked to sanction a... Quite frankly, an operation I think runs the risk of going seriously tits up. It wasn't the way you had misgivings, DCI Hammond. You don't know who these guys are. You don't know why they want their guns reactivated. You have an undercover officer in the field flying blind. What happens if these guys become suspicious of DS Murphy? They won't. Why not? Murphy won't let them. You're his cover officer, aren't you? D.S. Murphy is utterly professional. Frankly, I'll tell you what worries me most, D.S. Allison. Somebody isn't being straight with me. The resources being expended on this operation are out of all proportion. What am I not being told? We're building a case against Dave Callard. Who? Dave Callard is a cop killer. I'm the target of an ongoing investigation headed by D.S.I. Reese. It was Carlard who put these guys onto Murphy, so we think there could be a connection. He's a major player, major prize, and we think these guys could get us closer. He killed a police officer. He was acquitted. Hello? Paul? Yeah. 
Give me an OS map reference. Sheep 32, reference 741582. Well, according to the map, Paul, I'm in the middle of a boggy moor. Yeah, of course I know how to read a map. I can read. Well, the middle of nowhere is freaking miles from everywhere else, you know. Sake. Three heavily armed men within driving distance of... Well, you can see for yourself. Four major cities, 20, 25 towns. All with banks, building societies. Well, the only way we're going to find out is if Murphy finds out first. Or we pick him up now and interrogate him. Reese thinks we stand more chance of finding out with Murphy on site. Well, let's hope he's right. Billy! Billy! Billy, help me! Billy, I'm stuck! Hey, help me! Please! Billy, help! You OK, son? Not really. My boot is getting sucked off in this ditch. Billy! Rock and roll, rock your wee brain, son. Hey, rock and roll, it's garage. Garage? That shite will turn you into a retard, Philip. Your friend drowns in a smelly bog, you know nothing about it. We're lost. Well, Matt fell apart in the way. Do you boys want a lift? A lift? If we accept a lift, we're going to be disqualified from the Golden Medal Duke and Edinburgh Award scheme, man. And all of this, it'll mean nothing. Stephen, it'll be meaningless, man. Here, lads. I don't know where you're heading, but... We are here. Take that. Hey, you got any fags, mate? Looks like it's an overwintering site. Do we know who's there just now? Not got any idea. The thing about these travellers is they move around the country. They don't have national insurance, social security, birth registration even. They live in a parallel bloody universe. Not life as we know it. Barely humanoid. Turn off ignition. I think you're expecting me. Aye. Depends on who you are, Paddy. Are you expecting someone called Paddy? No. Good, because that's not my name. Take the shotgun out of my face. I'm not impressed by people waving firearms. Who are you? My name's Murphy. I'm the man who knows about guns. And someone in this shithole better be expecting me. You must be Murphy. The man you need to see is with someone right now. You want to interrupt him? Uh huh. With somebody? Yeah. With in a platonic sense or with in a carnal sense? Some clues to the time scale. Our sister. Actually, it leaves me none the wiser. Ali Holloway's your sister. Take a seat. This is my brother Danny. Slange. Slange. Man says he knows Ellie. 
You know my sister, do you? I've met her, yeah. Dave Callard says you're a very useful armorer, Mr. Murphy. You understand we want to purchase ammunition, and we want three machine guns reactivated. Kalashnikov, AK-47. These two are checked. Yeah. Check CZ-58. You can see the markings. Probably come into the country courtesy of Colonel Gaddafi and a support from my old mates in Belfast. Paid any more than 300 apiece for these and you were robbed. They need reboring. They do indeed. They need reborn and repinned. This one needs the barrel done, the firing pin, and the gas rod replaced. These two are pre 95 deactivations. They need the return spring, the bolt carrier, the gas rod, and the breech block replaced. These will take longer two days. You have one day. One day? Can't be done. This is precision work. You can't rush it. Why one day? What's happening tomorrow that can't wait? One day. Right, well, you boys clearly have a timetable to stick to. One day it is. One grand a day, I make that two grand. And what about the ammunition? The whole package, let's call it around three grand on account of the goodwill I'm feeling flowing over and around me here in your beautifully appointed mobile home. Oh, 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 what the heck? Oh, Steve! Oh, oh, oh. Steve. Callard. You know the man I mean? That was in Cal. What? No, I have my sister in here. And she is doing the part. Because her man has vanished. She is torn the part. How well burn you. I'll make of your head one serious bonfire. Listen! What happened to Richard Holloway? I have no idea. Everything you know! I heard he ran away. I have scolded over two million pounds of the firm's money. Who'd you hear that from? Everybody. Dave Connor told me himself. I know nothing about your sister's husband except what I've been told. Now you want these guns so badly. Danny. Give him a towel. <laughs> Cal, pour the man another drink. <laughs> This is the most precious thing in my life, Mr. Murphy. Your gear. Cal and Gerard will show you the workshop. Danny sees your assist on that state, he's got Forget it. I've got one day to do this. I'll do my job, get my money and go. Leave me alone.
Do you want to see what you get for your money? Come with me. Bring the mutton along, and he can bring his big dog. Kalashnikov AK-47. Fires 650 high-caliber rounds per minute. That's 10 per second. 10 rounds can easily cut two people in half. That's 120 people per minute, all cut in half. Which is 240 half people flopping around in the ground. With three of these, you're packing enough firepower to wage a small war. What a small war sounds like is this. <laughs> It also fires individual rounds for shooting individuals with. Maybe I'll get your Zippo lighter right now. We have the wee flame in my face again. How many individual rounds you got left in that thing now? I've no idea. Do you want to risk it? I'll show you what one of these bullets does to flesh and bone. Here, doggy. No! That petrol stunt put another grand on my price. I'm getting a, a signal on my mobile. Do you have a phone I could use? I need to make a call for your brothers. There's no signal out here on anybody's phones. All right. Well, to tell you the truth, um, I wouldn't have guessed in a million years they were your brothers. So how are you doing? It's Murphy, isn't it? Tommy Murphy. Well, Murphy, I'm doing okay. If you're gonna spare one of those, I'm starving. So what do you think they're up to? Who? Your brothers. Not something they tell me about. You're, you're actually supposed to give it a stir. Otherwise, it's sloppy at the top and clumpy and inedible at the bottom, like used cat litter. Not that it isn't great. There's a phone box in a lay-by, about a mile and a half up the road. Thanks. You don't know anything, do you? What about? Richard. No, uh, if I did, I'd... I tell you honestly. You want to be careful, you know. My brother Danny. I know he looks like Jesus. He's not. Thanks. Where are you going? You want your ammunition? I've got to phone my man, set up a meet. He doesn't know where the hell I am. Go then. Ellie Holloway is here. They're her brothers, Danny and Carl. There's another guy called Jared. Does she think you're involved? No, no, she doesn't. If she knew I was involved, I'd be dead by now. Whatever's happening is happening tomorrow. They've given me a day to fix the guns. Tommy, Tommy, are you there? I can't hear you. Are you there? Tom, are you there? Tom, I can't hear you.
Geekin brothers, they both have form. Cal did three years jail up in Perth. Daniel did five in Sockton. What were they in for? Little brother Cal was convicted of serious assault. Daniel McGeekin went down for a stabbing and killed a man when he was 16. Did three years in young offenders on a manslaughter conviction. You're in here. This is you for the night. You've put me in the doghouse? It's this or your car. Somebody always ends up getting hurt. Everything I know. I'm only the driver. Please don't kill me. I'm not gonna kill you. I want to be sure that you told us everything, so tell me again. Why? So I know you're not lying. 16 kilos of Charlie. 300 grand. Where and when? You're a different boat. Tell me the exact time and place. Where? Where's it happening? You're not the one who broke me out. Which one? This one? Ah! <laughs> I think it's them. Come on. I'm gonna kill you. I swear I'm gonna kill every single. Check her in the back. Go on. All right. <laughs> What's up, man? Oh, you 
time. Muffy's ready, come on. Hey. It's got to be this time. Come on! What was all that about? Billy Stark and his sons. What do they want? Kill Jared. Why? Last year, when we were here, Jared caught young Billy Stark stealing stuff. So? So Jared stuck his hands in the deep, fat fryer. And what did Billy Stark Sr. do? Does he do? It's a big builder, builder contractor. Gina. Nice talking to you. Back to work. You trying to give me a heart attack? You done with my guns yet? One more to go. Takes time. I knew a guy once fired off an AK-47. He thought he'd done. Blew half his face off. Round jammed in the barrel. Wouldn't be a good idea you putting me off. We don't want you to lose your head now, do we? Because then Carl would be last of the McGeegans. by near the site. Get here quick. I've got to get back. Bring me something to eat. Tom, I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Tom. Bring me something to eat. You've been up all night tuning guns for the deliverance posse. So what we got? It's a drug deal. 16 kilos of charity changing hands for 300 grand cash. The McGeegans plan to sweep with their big guns and steal the lot. Where and when? Tonight. Don't know where. Listen, they've got a guy tied up in a shack. Looks like he's been there quite a while, given the state of some of his wounds. They've beaten the shit out of him. He's got a, a scar over his heart, speaks with a Manchester accent, said he was the driver. Try and find out who he is. He might be able to give us something, maybe a connection to Callard. So do you reckon it is connected to Callard? Because there's nothing in their criminal records that points to it. They're amateurs. They're psychotic, but they're amateurs. They're not Callard style at all. The only way we can be sure is if I take one of them out and get it in the whole shebang. That means supplying them with ammunition. No, no way, Tom. No, no. blank firing rounds. If I don't put just the bullets, we've had it. If I come good, I'm in. We get a major result. Blanks never killed anyone. Look. Take this. No, no. I can't use that. Last resort. They have a frequency scanner. They'll hear me. So what do you think? What? Well, <laughs> the goalposts have just emigrated. I've got to take this to Reese. 
I'll be at the Black Sheep Inn today at three. If Reese okays this, I'll have the blanks with me. If he doesn't, we pull you out and we do the McGeekins for possession of firearms, kidnapping, and GBH. See you later. Like old times, eh? Thanks for this. That's supposed to be for a rainy day. <sighs> Take it easy, Dan. Cow! I'll do this. Here. Thanks. Tequila? No, I'm all right. It's supposed to be an aphrodisiac. Does it work? Only if you find being sick sexy. used to be my favourite ride. When did you leave? Ran away when I was 14, reinvented myself. I always wanted to run away and join the circus. Couldn't face the clabby sea lions. I went to Spain, worked in bars. Tried very hard to forget all this. Or what? My brothers, my family. Their unholy addiction to violence and mayhem. And I was doing all right. I met Richard. He was working really hard, building up his business. Then Dave Callard came into our lives and turned everything to shit. Go on, then. I'll have some. Would you leave me for two million pounds? No. Neither would Richard. Then he'll be back. So people keep saying. He called me, Richard, the night he disappeared. I was having dinner with Dave Callard in a restaurant. Richard told me how much he loved me. What do you think your brothers want to do with their guns? Danny calls it shock and awe. Going big, the opposition rolls over, nobody gets hurt. Except somebody always gets hurt. Your brothers have a man tied up in that shack, half beaten them to death. Do you think he has a wife that wonders where the hell he is, if he's alive or dead? Yeah. It's none of my business, you and your brothers. You and your husband. Scar over his heart. Could be a stabbing. It could be an operation scar. It could have happened here or any other part of the country. It's not going to lead us to an ID. Look, we know the McGeekins are going in tooled up big time, so we must assume... And they expect these boys to be tooled up. So am I looking at a bloodbath on my patch? Go. DCI Hammond, this is Detective Superintendent Rees. Good to meet you, DCI Hammond. Sir. The problem with blank firing rounds is simple. If the rounds detonate convincingly, they can't contain a lead projectile. If they don't contain a lead projectile, then even the most cursory examination will reveal them to be fakes. Too light. You have it in one DCI, Hammond. 
These are titanium nickel alloy test rounds are used in specialist weapons training exercises. Then they're good enough for the McGeegan. Sir, I have misgivings. Serious misgivings. You want to turn your back on 16 kilos of cocaine and 300 grand? That's the kind of result could change your career, DCI Hammond. A multi-force operation with the NCS and a result like that, you were supervising officer. Frankly, I... I don't give a shit about frankly. And frankly, I don't give a shit about your misgivings. You think we came up here for a change of air? You toe the line, Hammond. You have no idea what this operation represents. Your superiors, however, do. And they have assured me of your full and complete cooperation. Sir. So do I call Detective Superintendent Heinland and have you replaced, or do you get your finger out your arse and cooperate? Feel free to respond frankly. Sir. What's happening with Ellie Holloway, Paul? Is she going to come back and bite us on the arse? No, Murphy thinks that she's OK. Hammond's quite right to have misgivings, sir. Bloody right she is. Do the meet with Murphy. Will do. Mr Murphy, where are my bullets? Mr McGeegan, where's my money? Don't you worry. I've got your cash. Excellent. You pay me and I'll go and get the bullets. Just that premium, eh, Murphy? I'll take Jared with me. Just guess the bullets. Jared will pay you what we owe you, and then you can bug it off back to London. Take a shotgun. What for? You don't get us at ammo. Jared just might need it. Born and bred into the circus. Where's the rest of the gang? Gang. Lion tamer's bearded lady. It's the off season. They've got jobs. Proper jobs. Four pound eighty. What do you do in the on season? Are you a clown? Kind of miss the petrol. See if you'd shot my dog. Uh huh. Had to broken your neck. Snapped it like a twig. That's right. Fair enough. Director, inquiries. Which name, please? It's a building contractor, Stark and Sons. Just looking for you now, sir. Can you put me through? Yes, sir. Is that Billy Stark? Aye, who wants to Jared know? Riley's in the Black Sheep. I can keep him here half an hour or so. The rest is up to you. Hang on a minute. Have whatever you want now, Jared. Lunch is on me, money no object. You can take it out of the cash in the envelope. I'm drawn to the castle, eh? It's a French classic. You order. I'll get the bullets. Hey. Danny says I have to stick with you. I don't give two shites what Danny says. This is my end of the deal or there's no deal. You're Danny's errand boy. I'm nobody's. Sit down.
These are good. Best. Should fool them. Unless I have to use them. What's this? Castellet. Bean stew with sausages. You make it your friends warm. No. Ah, oh, gentlemen. Oh, Usual? Yeah, it is. So we still don't know about the where and the when? No. We are, however, about to go on land, eh? Jesus. Give me a shot if you need me. There's the bastard. All right, Billy. Who's going to be junkie lad? His guitar lessons coming along, isn't he? Come on! Come on! Bloody armors am I dealing with, eh? Look at the state of him! What the hell happened? Who the fuck is Billy Stark? You okay, man? Tell me, Gina. Do it! Tell me what the guns are for, or you don't get the ammo. I'll pay for it. Cut me in for a third and you'll get it. You can't do it without a third man, Danny. Gerard can't he move. Look at him. Sorted, Murphy. You're in. This is the key to that shack. I'm leaving, but not with that guy tied up in there beaten half to death. Why? <sighs> Gina's taking me down to London. And I don't want to steal them when my brothers get back. Can I trust you? Yes. Danny finds out he'll kill you. But I'll keep him and Cal busy for ten minutes. Who cares what he weighs? These are 20 milligram sodium thanatol tablets. I want to knock him out, not kill him. 13 stone. That's about half the weight of Gina's gilding. Gina's gilding? Yeah, they're horse tranquilizers. Get a glass of water, Cal. Where and when? And this is yours. We've alerted the air ambulance service. They'll have a unit on standby. <clears throat> Everybody's attention. As soon as we hear from Murphy, we're ready to go. And this is him. We know the McGeekins will not be carrying live ammunition, but we must assume there may be live firearms at the arrest scene. So we will take all necessary steps to protect this officer. <laughs> Come on, Murphy, get a move on! If we don't come back, take care of the guy in the shack. You don't get him seen to, he'll be a cripple. Is that you, Ray, then? I was looking for help, Danny. Instead, I get... Ellie, I have to do this thing tonight, all right? Look at the state he's in. Why does it always come down to this? 
Stay, Ellie. You're in no state to travel. We're your family. What are you going home to? I'm not the one you should be worrying about. Anything happens to Cal, I won't forgive you. Exchange tonight, 2200. Rookery Cafe. Just the AKs. Is there the deal? A hundred grand. I want thirty. You know what I don't get? What? How did Billy start nowhere to find Jerry? I don't know. I just know if I hadn't been there, they'd have killed him. From what I hear, Jared had it coming to him. No, Murphy. See, wasn't it Gerard crippled young Billy Stark? It was him. <laughs> <laughs> you should have heard that wee voice. It's a... Oh, oh Mammy. Oh, Daddy. <laughs> What's the defa friar to offer you, son? <laughs> Side of the building. Murphy, get a move on. Wait till I start shooting. I told you we shouldn't have broken in. Never caused me. I don't want to stay, it's not safe. Shh. coming on. to the 
outer cordon. Can anyone tell me if it was Murphy? The firearms officers can't distinguish. We've got to get those light firearms out of there. Get the car, Murphy. I got a blue chance. We're trying to get someone in closer. There's no cover. What if our officers has picked up a boy who's managed to escape? He says his friend's still in there. I have a hostage! I will shoot him! Go to the stomach! I told you, it's at the door! Shoot me! Annie! Joe, how are you doing? I'm OK, Dan, I'm OK. Get someone round the back. Check out all available access. Is anyone debriefing the other boy? He might have valuable information. Oh, we're on it. He's been shot in the guts, Danny. He's beaten to death. He's dying. We need to get help. Just let this boy go. What are you trying to achieve? Sorry, I'm trying to think. Your brother is dying. No, he's not. Your man must be OK. The fire exit's been opened at the back. We can get someone in. Thank God. Let's get that kid out of there. Well, what are you going to do? Shouldn't use this kid to get us out of here. Oh, where? Well, let him go, Danny. Why is the only thing we've got? Shouldn't him's not going to help us? Nothing is going to help us. The cops don't negotiate, Danny. They'll negotiate with me. Why will they? Because if they don't... I'll shoot him in the head. Let him go, Danny. Who are you playing at? Let him go or I will shoot you. You have a sudden attack of the conscience, Murphy. What the fuck is wrong with you? Your brother is dying and we are going to jail. Do you think I want to do a life sentence? Sit in the same cell as you? Because the big hard man executes a wee boy. You know who you should be pointing the gun at, Danny? Remember you held a lighter in front of my face? He did the right thing. You know why? Because I killed your sister's man. She's the most precious thing in your life, yeah? She's torn in half. That's down to me. Because I popped Richard Holloway's skull wide open with a baseball bat. I turned your sister into a grieving widow. For money. That was down to me. So is this. Someone's been shot. They're taking the target out. Is the kid all right? He's fine. We've identified the third gang member. I'm assuming that's your man. That's our man. 